दिस इज दी साकार मुरली ऑफ थर्टीन ऑफ ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन डू द सर्विस ऑफ प्योरीफाइंग द एलिमेंट्स विद योगा बिकॉज इट इज ओनली वेन द एलिमेंट्स हैव बिकम प्योर दैट द डेटीज विल सेट फुट इन दिस वर्ल्ड क्वेश्चन वाई कैन देयर बी एनी टाइप ऑफ पीसलेसनेस इन योर किंगडम answer number 1 because you will have received that kingdom as your inheritance from the father second the father the bestower of blessings gives you blessings and the inheritance at this time and for this reason there cannot be peacelessness there when you belong to the father you claim your whole inheritance om shanti you children know who children you are he is called the true lord and master this is why nowadays you children are also called the children of the lord and master there is a saying about the truth eat that which is real and bear that which is real although this saying has been created by human beings the father sits here and explains the meaning of it You children know that the father is the highest on high the one who is praised a great deal and who is also called the creator his first creation is you children you are the children of that father all souls reside with the father that is called the father's home the sweet home this is not your home You children know that he is our sweetest father. The land of peace is our sweet home, and then the golden age is also called our sweet home, because there is peace in every home there. Here there is peacelessness in the home of physical mothers and fathers, and peacelessness in the world. There there is peace in their homes as well as throughout the world. The golden age is called a small new world. This old world is so huge. There is so peace and happiness in the golden age. There is no question of chaos there because you will have received your inheritance of peace from the unlimited father. Gurus and holy men can give blessings. Gurus and holy men give blessings. May you have sons, may you have a long life. those blessings that they give are not new you automatically receive those as your inheritance from the father the father has now reminded you children of this that parlokic father is the one whom people of all religions remember on the path of devotion when it is a world of sorrow this world is old and impure in the new world there is happiness there is no trace of peacelessness You children now have to become pure and virtuous otherwise you will have to experience a great deal of punishment Dharmaraj the one who enables you to settle all your karmic accounts is also with the father there will be the tribunal there will definitely be punishment for sins those who make good efforts will not experience punishment you receive punishment for your sins and that is also called the suffering of karma this is the foreign kingdom of ravan and there is limitless sorrow within it there is limitless happiness in the kingdom of rama you explain to many and some are able to understand instantly whereas others take time to understand if they understand less you can understand that they started performing devotion later those who have done devotion from the beginning will understand this knowledge quickly because they have to take a number ahead you souls know that you come here from your sweet home there is silence movie and talking after children have gone into trance they say that everything there is movie trance has no connection with this path of knowledge the main thing is to consider yourselves to be souls and to remember the father that's all nothing else the father is incorporeal and his children that is souls in these bodies are also incorporeal 
no other question arises the love of souls is for the one supreme father the supreme soul everyone's body is impure and so you cannot have love for impure bodies souls may become pure but their bodies are impure bodies do not become pure in this impure world souls have to become pure here only then will these old bodies be destroyed souls are imperishable the duty of souls is to remember the unlimited father and to become pure when souls are pure they need pure bodies and they will receive those in the new world let souls become pure souls have to have yoga with the one supreme father the supreme soul that's all this impure body must not even be touched the father is speaking to you souls these matters have to be understood from the golden age to the iron age you have been hanging on to your bodies both souls and bodies are pure there you do not indulge in vice there and so neither souls nor bodies become vicious there are the ballava charis brackets a sect <coughs> who do not allow their bodies to be touched you know that neither are those souls wiseless nor are they pure the ballavachari sect considers themselves to belong to a high clan they do not allow their bodies to be touched they do not understand that they are vicious and impure and that their bodies have been created through corruption the father comes and explains these aspects when souls become pure they have to change their bodies your body can only become pure when the five elements become pure in the golden age the five elements are pure and so the bodies are also pure deities cannot set foot on the impure world or have impure bodies both souls and their bodies are pure this is why they only set foot here in the golden age this world is impure souls remember the parlogic father the supreme soul one is your physical father and the other is your bodiless father the bodiless father is remembered because you definitely receive such an inheritance of happiness from him this is why you cannot stay without remembering him although you have now become tamo pradhan you still definitely remember that father However people receive wrong teachings that say god is omnipresent they then become confused about human beings only becoming human beings the father comes and explains all of those mistakes the father only gives the one mantra of man mana bhav the meaning of this is consider yourself to be a soul and remember the father only have this concern that's all It is through this that you will be able to become pure. Deities are pure. The father now comes and makes you pure again like them. He keeps your aim and objective in front of you. A sculptor is straight away able to create a sculpture of a human being by looking at his face. Those are non-living statues, but it is as though the person is sitting in front of them in the living form. Here the father says to you you have to become living lakshmis and narayans how will you become those you will become deities from human beings by studying this and with purity this is a school to change from humans into deities those sculpture create many sculpture that is called art they create identical faces here there is no question of identical faces those are non living images where is you will become those naturally in living forms there the bodies of the five elements will be alive those non living images have been created by human beings they cannot be identical to the deities because no photographs can be taken of deities although they have a vision of them in trance they cannot take their photograph they would say that they had visions of them but they themselves are not able to create that image nor can anyone else you yourselves can only become like that after you finish taking this knowledge from the father only then will you become identical to what you were in the previous cycle this is such a wonderful natural drama the father sits here and explains to you the wonderful things of nature 
Human beings don't even think about these matters. They go in front of the deity idols and bow their heads. Although they understand that they used to rule that kingdom, they do not know when. They don't know anything about when they will come again or what they will do when they come. You know that those who belong to the sun and moon dynasties have been and gone. They will become exactly the same again by studying this knowledge. This is the wonder. Therefore, the father now explains, by making such effort, you will become the same deities again. You will carry on with the same activity that you did previously in the golden and silver ages. This is such wonderful knowledge. This knowledge can only remain in your intellects when there is cleanliness in your hearts. These aspects cannot be remain cannot remain in anyone else's intellect. You need to make effort for this. You cannot receive the fruit without making the effort. The father continues to inspire you to make effort. Even though everything happens according to the drama, you still have to make effort. You must not just sit down and think, if it is in the drama, I will be able to make effort. There are many who have such crazy thoughts as there will surely be effort if it is in my fortune. Oh, but it is you who have to make the effort. There is the effort and then the reward. Human being asks, which is greater, the effort or the reward? Reward is greater, but effort is said to be greater because it is through that that your reward is created. It is only by making effort that every human being receives everything. There are some who have such a stone intellect that they give this a wrong meaning. It is understood that this is not in their fortune. They fall apart. Here, you children are inspired to make so much effort. You are given explanation day and night. You definitely have to reform your character. The number one character is to be pure. Deities are pure anyway. It is when they fall that their characters are spoiled and they become completely impure. You now understand that your characters were A1. Then you fell completely. Everything depends on purity. It is in this that there is great difficulty. People's eyes deceive them a great deal because this is the kingdom of Ravan. There your eyes do not deceive you. Each of you receives a third eye of knowledge. This is why it is said, religion is might. The almighty authority father comes and establishes this deity religion. It is souls that do everything, but they do it through human forms. That father is the ocean of knowledge. His praise is totally separate from the praise of the deities. So why would you not remember such a father? He is called the knowledge for one, the seed. Why is he called the truth, the sentient being and the embodiment of bliss? The seed of the tree is aware of the tree emerging from him. But those seeds are non-sentient. It is as though the souls in those are non-conscious. Whereas the souls of human beings are conscious. A living soul can also be called an ocean of knowledge. The tree grows from small to large, so there definitely is a soul, but it is unable to speak. There is so much praise of the supreme soul. He is the ocean of knowledge. This praise does not belong to souls. This praise is only sung of the supreme soul. He is called Iswar, etc. His true name is the supreme father, the supreme soul. Param means supreme. The praise people sing of him is very powerful. Now day by day his praise is decreasing because their intellects were sato at first. Then they became Rajo and they have now become Tamo Pradhan. The father comes and explains all of these things. I come every 5000 years to make the old world new. It is remembered that the golden age is the truth. And that whatever happens there is the truth. Brackets written in the Granth Sahib, the holy book of the six. Some write good versions because they are not so impure. Those who come later are not so impure. The people of Bharat were completely Satupradhan. And they are the ones who have become the most Tamupradhan at the end of their many births. 
this cannot be said about the founders of religions neither do they become as sato pradhan nor do they become as tamo pradhan they neither experience as much happiness nor as much sorrow whose intellects have become the most tamo pradhan out of all the religions it is those who were at first deities who have fallen the most people sing praise of bharat because it is very ancient if you think about it the bharat of this time has fallen a great deal the rise and fall of bharat is the rise and fall of the deities you have to use your intellects to understand this we experienced a great deal of happiness when we were satu pradhan then we also experienced so much sorrow because we were we are tamo pradhan there are four main religions deitism islam buddhism and christianity expansion has taken place through them the people of bharat do not know which religion they belong to because of not knowing their religion they leave their religion in fact their religion is the main one but they have forgotten it those who are wise and sensible understand that those people have no honesty in their religion otherwise what was bharat before and what has it now become the father sits here and asks you children what were you he sits here and explains the whole history you were deities you ruled for half a cycle and then after half a cycle your actions and your religion become corrupt in the kingdom of ravan you are now once again becoming those who will belong to the deity community god speaks only to you children does the father explain every cycle and enable you to belong to god's community acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to you spiritual children and the spiritual children say namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharna number 1 with cleanliness in your heart inculcate the father's wonderful knowledge into your life create an elevated reward by making effort don't just say drama and stop making effort second in order to be saved from being deceived by your criminal eyes in the kingdom of ravan practice looking with your third eye of knowledge imbibe purity which is the number one character blessing may you be greatly fortunate and remain constantly happy by knowing the horoscope of your brahmin life your brahmin life is a new life in the beginning you brahmins were deities and you are now bk in the horoscope of brahmins all three aspects of time are the best of all whatever happened was good whatever is happening is good and whatever is to happen will be very very good the horoscope of your brahmin life is constantly good this is guaranteed so constantly maintain the happiness that the father the bestower of fortune himself has drawn your line of elevated fortune and made you belong to him slogan in order to experience a constant and stable state take the sweetness of having all relationships with the one father slogan in order in order to experience a constant and stable state take the sweetness of having all relationships with the one father om shanti